are set for our next bout here. And it is scheduled for three rounds in the flyweight division. And it is for the reality fighting amateur flyweight title. Please welcome first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is the champion, representing the Fighting Arts Academy, and hailing from Springfield, Massachusetts, Tim Flores! Flores hails from Jeremy Lubaszewski's Fighting Arts Academy. I can guarantee you he is perfectly conditioned and perfectly trained. I believe he won this 25-pound uh, uh, title at the last reality fighting, if this is, if I'm correct. Tim Flores, well-rounded fighter, strong grappling skills. And now, please welcome to the cage, fighting out of the red corner, he is the challenger. Representing Jungle Jim and hailing from the Bronx, New York, Edwin Solis. Edwin coming into the cage tonight with a four win, four fight win streak. Expect this fight to be a high-paced fight. Flores in camo, Solis in white. Flores is in the camo, Solis in the white. Both men feeling each other out still. working that lead leg of Solis. Solis doesn't seem to be bothered at all by it. He might be towards the latter rounds, though. You can't take too many leg kicks like that. Uh, affect your movement, your power. Both men still in the feeling out process here. Floor switches to southpaw. <laughs> One minute to go. He disguises those high kicks pretty well behind punches. I'd say at this point, Flores is definitely pushing the pace, and then uh... Flores definitely showing why he's the champ. Yes.
Flores is mixing up with some knees, kicks, and punches. Yeah, he's doing I haven't very seen well. too many kicks by um, Edwin yet. He seems to be still trying to find his rhythm a little bit. It's tough when I. There we go. Here's yeah, some kicks. Yeah, nice right hand. Great first round, great haircut by Kevin, referee Kevin McDonald. Gentlemen, who do you like in that round? 10 9 9 10. I'm going to give it to. I'll give it to Tim Flores. Flores. Yep. He pushed, he, he pushed the pace, I think. Um, the leg kicks, I think, really made a difference in that round. Yep, I would say so. I'd say he pushed the pace. He kept uh, Solis on his heels a little bit more. And uh, I think Solis may be feeling him out. He looks pretty uh, good in his corner here, catching his breath. And uh, I would definitely give the first round to Flores. It's unanimous then. Broadcast team calls this 10 9 Tim Flores, round one. Both corners receiving call advice. Goes to both men's cardio. Looks neither of them look like they even fought around. Round two. Now both men looking to trade. Beautiful the exchanges by Tim Flores. Edwin looks to answer back. Flores is doing a great job of mixing it up. High, low, body, head, kicks, jabs, straight punches, looping nice punches. straight punch by Tim Flores. He always throws when he exchanges too. Or when he leaves the exchange, excuse me. I think those leg kicks are uh, obviously taking effect. You can see the swelling on Edwin's leg. Especially in later in the round. Edwin looks, looks for the takedown here. So Lisa's hands are together. Maybe just a little high. The champ, Tim Flores, excellent job at denying that takedown. Doing a good job of keeping his hips away and the knee when he comes in. Reversed and he's winning the head battle. <laughs> Flores uh, seems to be the stronger, the stronger fighter. If I were him, I would dig for that other underhook there, try to get my back off the cage, maybe put him on it, or even separate completely and get back to striking, because he's uh, definitely been winning the striking the whole time. Solo's doing a good job of controlling him against the cage here. This is what makes mixed martial arts so fascinating. If you're losing one aspect of the fight, you try and take the fight somewhere else. Flores to let that right low kick go. There it was. Timed it nice and got the takedown. Ten seconds. Flores works right back to his feet. Nice knee. Good second round. Gentlemen, before we get to the instant replay, once again, 10-9, 9-10. 10-9, Flores. That was a closer round for uh, Edwin, but I am going to have to give it to Flores. Once again, it's unanimous. So we're looking at 2018. Take us through the replay. I mean, uh, Flores, he just looks great in this game here. He's got good movement in and out. He's got lateral movement, good head movement. He hides that high kick that he throws very well behind his punches. Solis looks 
I, would, I don't want to say he looks uh, afraid to exchange, but I think he, it's tough for him to try to find his rhythm and find his game plan that he was uh, trying to stick to, like you said. He lost the striking for sure in the first round and came out and seemed to uh, want to grapple. But uh, again, 10-9 for Flores. Flores, strong grappling background. It's tough to take him down, especially against the fence. And if you do get him down, he's quick to get back to his feet. Seconds out. Still around left, so anything can happen, but. Round three. Ooh. Nice. Oh, good trip. Good trip. Floors bringing it hard. Passes. Great pass to side control. Back to half. Excellent work from bottom by Solis. Evan was looking to get back to his feet, switch the takedown of his own. But Tim Flores does a good job of defending that takedown and puts him against the fence. Nice takedown by Edwin. Edwin ate some of those kicks, as you can see in his leg, but he, through eating those kicks, he has developed a sense of his opponent's timing. Foot stomps by Tim Flores. Those aren't good. He's working everything. He's really picking at that lead leg of uh, Solis. Putting the pressure on him now. Solis might be down two rounds here. He can't. Uh, he can't be content with his back against the cage. He really has to work out and try to finish Flores here in the third round if he wants to win this fight. I believe. And Flores doing a great job. Just. Very active, pressure, 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 pressure. He looks pretty deep on a single. Solis trying to defend with a wizard here. Good, Good job take. with hand control. Good take down the fence by Edwin. Good tie clinch and knees right here from, uh, from Flores. Thirty seconds now. Thirty seconds. Those are some good welts on the leg of Edwin. Edwin might be looking Ooh, for the arm bar. bar. Mm. Always dangerous. Looking for the triangle. Short time here. Ten seconds. Flores finishing strong here. Finishes the round with some nice ground and pound. Great amateur fight. That is what amateur mixed martial arts is all about. I agree. Excellent fight. I give it a 10-9, 10-9, 10-9 unanimous decision for uh, Tim, for, uh, I believe it's Tim. Yeah, excuse me, Tim Flores from Fighting Arts Academy. He did a great job. I'd have to agree with you. Great strikes, pressure, pressure, pressure the whole time. You mixed it up. You did great against the cage. You did great in the grappling exchanges. Understandable uh, why he's the 125 pound champion for reality fighting. Great performance by him. And Solis did a great job himself, too. Tough for him to find his rhythm, but did very well. Great job by both men. FAA head coach and founder, Jeremy Libeshevsky, still calm. He's texting his friends. <laughs> the beautiful reality fighting belt has entered the cage. New and improved reality fighting belt. 
That know. is the new and improved one. I'm a little disappointed they switched the grappling awards from medals or from three foot trophies to medals. Yeah. <laughs> I miss the old Naga grappling belts. Not a big fan of the newer ones. I like the ones before the new ones, but I miss the old ones. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, all three judges scored this belt by unanimous decision for your winner. And still! Amateur Flyway Champion, Tim Flores! Once again, the Mohegan Sun judges get it right. Tim, I'm here with our winner, Tim. That was a tremendous job. You really pushed the pace of the fight. It seemed like everything he tried to do on you, you kind of had an answer for, and you were shutting him down on takedowns and everything else. So how did you feel to successfully defend your reigning championship at 125 pounds? Oh, man, it feels great, honestly. I always said to myself, you're not the champion, but you're the belt. Oh I feel like I put on not the greatest performance, but, you know, I put You want to get a... Well, look great to us, so congratulations on a great victory. I just want to say thanks for everyone for coming out and happy birthday to my brother Amor over there. Happy birthday, man. I love you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Kip and Joe. Congratulations, Kip. How's it look? 